Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. I look rough again. Uh, I saw Tati post a video today, which will be yesterday to y'all. And I decided to copy it because I really, really liked the idea. So today I'm going to be doing a Siri Picks My Makeup Challenge. I already got all the products and made a list of everything she picked, um, but I had to do mine a little bit different. So what Tati did is she went in and she said this. Siri, what is the best makeup primer? What is the best makeup primer? So basically she went in, she talked to Siri, picked the first article. And then she picked whatever the first one was. And if she didn't have it, she went and bought it. Well, I'm a little broke. <laughs> and I'm not going to go buy all new products. I didn't have hardly any of the number one picks. So what I did is I went through the first article and made sure, and it worked like magic, I picked whatever it was out of that list that I already had, whichever one came first. So we did that. We've got our products lined out. Got a face ready to go, and honestly, I'm so excited. Siri had some pretty amazing picks, I'm not gonna lie. So, we are gonna do a full face of Siri Picked Makeup, and I will show you everything as we go. And yeah, that's what's going down. So we're gonna put the hair up while we do the face, just so we don't mess up the base of our makeup. And we are going to get started. So the primer that Siri picked that I actually had was this Smashbox primer, of course. If y'all have been watching me for a while, you know this is in my holy grail for like ever. So I always end up going back to it. It's definitely a good primer. So we're just going to start with this. And we are going to take it, dab it all over. This is not pore filling. It is just a good primer to get your makeup to stick. And rub it in all over the place because with this one I apply it everywhere and sometimes even if I use like a pore filling primer in my t-zone I also apply this like around the edges just to be sure my makeup holds extra good. So then I asked her to pick me a foundation and she out of what I had picked the Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Foundation and I am shade 120. Yes, you can clock me. I am so pale that I use the second light of shade like every other foundation there is. <clears throat> so I'm just going to squirt this onto the back of my hand and I'm going to apply this with my Clarisonic. I am not at all a fan of this foundation. I don't like it. And I figured that out pretty quick after I got it. It's not a bad foundation, it's just really hard to work with and it dries down so fast that I just can't make it work for me. Like I can only do half my face at a time because if I try to do more than that it's going to dry down before I can get it blended out and I don't really like that because I'm always in a hurry. So having to stop halfway through my face is not a plus for me at all. But it does have a pretty nice finish. Just gives me a little bit of a yellow cast, which is partially due to my incorrect shade match, but I have weird skin. So not hating on the girls at Sephora. I can't even shade match myself. But I'm gonna do the other side of my face real quick. Okay, so next up we have got concealer. And could you ever guess what the best-selling concealer ever is? Tarte Shape Tape, of course. And this has got me so washed out, y'all. This is why I don't like this foundation. The shade match was so off. And I don't live close enough to the Sephora to have actually taken it back to them. And I got it before I knew very much about makeup at all. So I just went with it because I thought they knew more than I did. 
but we're gonna go ahead and blend this in as well okay so when it came to powders I was actually pretty shocked to see that second on the list was Cody Airspun which of course I have number one was actually bare minerals I really thought it would be um, Laura Mercier which I haven't tried but I know it's incredible but it was actually bare minerals which I know Tati mentioned was really weird but this was the first one on the list that I had so we're just gonna bake the under eyes and set the whole face with a little bit of this just to be sure that this foundation stays where it's supposed to so I'm going to take this little powder brush that I use and just dust it all over the face focusing really on those spots where I concealed so that they don't crease too terribly and I think that is all that I need <clears throat> okay so we're gonna wipe this bake away and the next thing up is of course bronzer and I didn't look up contour because when I contour honestly I just use bronzer anyways so the first one on the list that I have is this Park Avenue Princess by Tarte I've just got the baby size but I use this every day for probably six months and I still have like so much left so the big brush I'm just gonna go ahead and contour with this and hopefully bring a little light back to my face <laughs> okay so that definitely helped a lot I think if it didn't don't tell me let me be happy <laughs> So the next one that came up was a Tarte Amazonian Clay Blush, which I don't think it really specified a color, but the color I have is Party, and it's of course another sample size, but these Amazonian Clay Blushes and Bronzers last forever. You honestly could get a travel size and it would last you probably every day for six months or a year, unless you're just really heavy on the product, which especially when it comes to blush, I'm really just enough to rosy up my cheeks and be done with it so to finish off the face I'm gonna go in it picked in general uh, Becca highlighters as one of the top products y'all know me I'm gonna use champagne pop because that's my favorite and it just said Becca skin perfecting highlighters and that's what this is so we're gonna take a little bit of this on my eco tools brush that I have been loving and just put it on the high points of the face okay and just like with the highlight for lips it just gave me a brand of a really good liquid lipstick and it told me to use the Stila Stay All Days and I know a super popular color is Patina which I have because I heard it was a super popular color these are not my absolute favorite y'all know I love my Crate Finds Liquid Lips but before I found them this was what I preferred to use on a majority of days so we're just gonna apply So I have forgotten how good these smell. They don't wear the best, but they do smell really good. Um, okay, so I do have to do my brows, which I'm not gonna film this, but shockingly enough, of course Brow Wiz was number one. I don't know if I've told y'all, but I lost my stinking Brow Wiz. I did tell y'all, because I lost it during my trip to Arizona. So I don't have it but the next one on there was this it cosmetics brow power which I'm not a big fan of but it'll work and I have it so I'm just gonna go ahead and fill my brows in with this which is super boring so I'm not gonna make y'all watch me okay so I don't oh, I just don't like that brow pencil I mean it works but like 
it doesn't look natural which I mean it's makeup it's not natural but I want something that looks better than that so for the palette of course Tati used the Tartlet and Bloom which is the number one palette when Siri looks it up and I do have that but I didn't want to use the same palette because number one I want y'all to see a different combination and number two my look is not going to be as good as hers so I used one of the next options which was the modern renaissance and y'all know this is like everybody in the whole world's holy grail and compared to the rest of my palettes this one's actually pretty beat up like I use it all the time well not all the time but more than any other palette I have <laughs> so we're just gonna start out and I am gonna dip straight in to raw sienna right here and I'm gonna try a new Please pray for me, you guys. I don't know how this is going to work out. I'm going to try a new way of doing my makeup that I learned from JustMills.com. Uh, she is an amazing makeup artist, YouTuber, and she does this reverse smoky eye thing where she like puts all her shadow in here and instead of going from the outer corner and barely inner, any on the inner, she does it all on the inner corner and barely any on the outer. So that is what I really want to try today. And with the color scheme I wanted to do with it, this modern renaissance is absolutely perfect to do it. So we are going to see if I can pull this off. And I don't know that I can, but I'm going to try. So I took that. And next I'm going to go ahead and take Venetian Red right here and I'm going to apply that with a smaller more focused brush and just put it right on top of that raw sienna and just keep smoking it out and trying to build up that pinkish red vibe that I really wanted to do with this look Okay, so now I'm going to go into Red Ochre right here and blend that a little closer into that inner crease. That's so weird to say, but I'm going to blend it a little farther down in here to deepen that up. I don't feel like I'm doing this right, but it's interesting, and I think it'll make more sense after my next step, or at least I'm going to hope that it does. I kind of like this so we're just blending 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 and trying to get this to look the way it's supposed to and then I'm gonna go back in with that first brush and just blend out these harsh edges and try to soften everything up because especially on this eye I got it like really harsh around these edges but it's still really pretty. Okay, so then what she always does is she goes in with like a highlight shade. So I'm gonna take Vermeer right here and I'm gonna pop this into my brow bone right there. Also in my inner corner, of course. Okay, and then just a tiny bit on the lid right through here. Okay, so that is it <laughs> for the eyeshadow. Now here's what I think is going to make this make a little more sense. So Siri picked out my eyeliner as well and she picked out the Stila Stay All Day Liquid Eyeliner. And I'm going to attempt to do a wing and you'll know I'm so challenged without my wing stamp but we're going to try it. Okay, so... <laughs> I'm horrible at winged liners, so we're just going to ignore that. Sorry, guys. But I also forgot to smoke out my lower lash line, so I'm just going to take 
what's left over on this brush and toss a little bit of that down here to kind of bring things together. And that definitely worked. Uh, then Siri picked my mascara. We are not doing lashes. Y'all know, honestly, I don't really do lashes too often anyways. And she picked the Monsoir Big Mascara, which is for sure one of my absolute favorites. Uh, once I figured out that the reason I couldn't get it off in the shower is because it's a tubing mascara and I didn't know what that meant. But now I know that means you pull it off the lashes and that's so much easier. So now I actually kind of like it. I used to hate this stuff, but that made a lot more sense and made this one of my favorites. And it definitely adds a ton of length to the lashes. Okay, so I got that mascara on and I cleaned up my wings a little bit. This did not end up the reverse smoky eye I wanted, but it's pretty cute. And I love my modern renaissance. I have all the faith in the world in it. So the last step is my all nighter setting spray. So we're just gonna spritz this on. Is it just me or a setting spray like the best feeling in the whole world <laughs> but okay so that is it that is my Siri picks my makeup challenge I know I didn't show y'all everything she said but basically I pulled up a lot of the same list that Tati did and I just picked products that I already had in my beauty room so I hope y'all enjoyed this video and I will see you in a couple of days bye you guys